Up until now, the cloud has really been about where, so it's allowed you to take existing applications and execute them in a different place, uh, so as to speak, which is important. But I think what I think is going to be really interesting is when we start doing things that are genuinely new on the cloud and could never have been done on existing infrastructures. And I think we're on the threshold of that. And to do that, you've got to be able to not only do things like analytics and big data, but you've got to do things in real time. One of the most interesting things I've seen in the last um, year, I was in a focus group. There was one particular woman who was, um, in the context of this uh, user group anyway, on the on the bleeding edge, and she was, um, she she sort of pulled out an iPad from her bag and said, "Look, you know, I'm I'm a, a sort of a mother, and I've got um, three kids, and I'm running this business, and it's really hard work. Um, the thing which allows me to survive is that I could sit here now with my iPad and run my payroll. Look, here's my payroll app." I could do that. And I think if I project into the future, therefore, um, I would hope that if, if you ran that focus group again in five years' time, that would be the norm. We're just seeing the tip of the iceberg is the proliferation of a lot of services. So I think you're going to see in the future that there's this explosion of creativity, microservices that are provided by plethora of vendors and companies themselves exposing their APIs, and people will be able to figure out new ways of combining that, monetizing that, and creating businesses that we can't even, we, we're not even envisioning yet today. But we'll see them in the next five years. I think in general, I expect that in five years we have a bigger pull out of the market, so we do not have to concentrate that much on, on pushing um, applications. It's more like on, on providing flexible packages which customers pull. I also expect that we do not have more this kind of marketplace aspect where a lot of different applications sit you know, independently together, but we have more ecosystems where the, the applications are interact and we have you know, like horizontal data layers where all the different applications works with. So I think this is the, the, the key thing. So I see a big cloud ecosystem. Well, five years from now, it's like 100 years in cloud years, but uh, we see customers very much in a hybrid environment. They'll be using many clouds. And really the key is how do you connect all of those elements together? How do you bring that together? How do you ensure integration? The ability to use some of this technology in ways that we haven't even considered at this point, but the ability really to redefine what the customer's experience is and what it's going to be. And I think that's a little closer than, uh, than we may think. And it's something that we, with some real clear focus, can redefine and go after right now. There's a lot of ISVs, more and more uh, smaller, uh, problems are being addressed with more and more applications. So I think that complexity is going to increase to a certain point where it's going to be too much. So in, in a, perhaps not in five years, even sooner, we believe that uh, customers are going to say, this is too complex for me. I want to trust a brand like Swisscom to take care of the headache. You tell me what I need to implement, how I need to implement it. I don't want to have 500 different apps to choose from. You give me a small selection and you can support me with that.